This is a full take apart repair guide for the Motorola Droid Razor HD brought to you by Repairs Universe. To perform this repair we're going to use a few tools including the Safe Open Pry tool, the Torx T5 screwdriver, Torx T3 screwdriver, and if we're replacing the screen assembly we're going to suggest using fresh adhesive strips. To begin the repair we're going to make sure the device is fully powered off, then we're going to use a SIM card removal tool or a paper clip to press a small hole in the SIM card tray and remove it. On the bottom of the device here we're going to have two Torx T5 screws that we're going to need to remove. Once that's done we can then shimmy the screen assembly forward as you can see here. This will release the clips. You want to be very careful though as it's, the screen assembly is still going to be attached with two jawbone connectors. One on the top here and one on the bottom. We're just going to get our pry tool underneath here. We're just going to shimmy this down a little bit more so we have a little bit more room. Just going to release this tab and then slide out the flex cable. I'm going to do the same thing here with the, with the bottom. I'm just going to get a pry tool underneath, release that black tab, just gently lifting it up. That will allow us to slide the flex cable right out of the connection. Once both the connections are released, we are then able to safely separate the motherboard assembly here on the left and the screen assembly here on the right. To begin removing the screen assembly from the front housing, we're going to remove two Torx T3 screws located up here. We're then going to use our safe open pry tool and gently lift up on this metal cover. It should just be held in place with a few clips and the screws. So once those are removed, it should pop out very easily. We're now going to gently release this flex cable located on the top here. This is going to include the ear speaker, the front camera, and the proximity sensor. So it's going to gently lift up. It's going to be held in place with just a little bit of adhesive. Just going to peel it back here, and we can then remove it from the device. If you're looking just to replace this front camera, all we'll need to do is release this jaw connector and replace the front camera. But back to the screen assembly here, we're going to use our heat gun or hair dryer. We're just going to begin warming the top here of the screen assembly. We're going to use a medium heat a couple inches away from the device, and this is just going to help release that adhesive, make it much more malleable. So we can use a pry tool to gently lift the screen assembly out. I was going to focus a little bit of heat down here on the flex cables and then onto the front. It should take about 45 seconds to thoroughly heat the device. Once it's properly heated, we're just going to use a safe open pry tool and begin releasing this flex cable from the housing. It's held on with pretty strong adhesive, so just continue working your way around. As you can see, we're just going to lift up and continue working our way around here. Just trying to attempt to release the rest of that flex cable. And there we go, we're just going to fold it down. We're then going to start using our safe open pry tool. We're just going to hit it on the side here. The adhesive is not very strong holding the screen assembly in place, so it should be pretty simple to either get in up here near the speaker assembly or on the sides. You want to be very careful though not to damage the front housing. We're just going to slide our pry tool along the sides here, releasing all that adhesive. This process does take some time, so just slowly work your way around. Be sure to reheat the screen assembly if the adhesive begins to get too strong. As you can see, this adhesive is coming off quite nicely on this screen assembly. We just need to focus down here. We'll make sure to slide those flex cables. Just going to reheat it real quick, just add a little bit more touch of heat. Majority of the adhesive is on the top and bottom, so focus your heat there. As you can see with that added heat, that adhesive just cuts through just like butter. And there we go, we're just going to slide that flex cable all the way through the housing. At this point, you can then replace your screen assembly. Focus back on the motherboard now. We're going to have released this bottom connection here, which is going to be your battery. 
it's always smart to release the power source first. So we're just going to remove that tape, use a safe open pry tool, and just lift up on that battery connection and move it to the side. Now the battery's fully disconnected, we're going to use our Torx T5 screwdriver and release the 10 T5 screws located throughout the motherboard as shown in that diagram to the left. All these screws will be the same size, so you can just put them in a big pile and not have to worry about them getting mixed up. With all the screws removed, we just have a few connections here to release. We're going to start in the top left here to release the loudspeaker. This is going to be held in place with a wire connector. But first, we're going to have to remove this small piece of plastic cover. Now, I'm going to try to use my safe open pry tool to lift up on the connection. I was just too small, so I'm just going to use my flathead screwdriver and lift the connection out. There we go. So back to my safe open pry tool, I'm going to remove that casing right there and lift up on the main camera. Top here, we're just going to release that cable. And there we go. The motherboard can now safely be removed. We suggest prying on this left side here to gently fold the motherboard to the right. There we go. The motherboard can now safely be removed. On the motherboard, we're just going to have this main camera right here, which is just held in place with a jawbone connector. We also have the headphone jack flex cable there. The next step is going to be removing the battery. To do this, we're going to use a safe open pry tool and just begin working our way around the battery. It is held in place with very strong adhesive, so take your time. You do not want to bend the battery in any way or cause any damage to it. I'm just going to get underneath it here. Once all the adhesive is released, the battery can then be removed and replaced. Be sure to check us out at repairsuniverse.com where you'll find all the tools and parts used in this video. Also, be sure to follow us on Facebook and Twitter. Thank you for watching.